Hi everyone, welcome to our Firepower NGFW platform series. My name is Goran and I come to you from Technical Marketing and Engineering Team with Security and Business Group at Cisco. In this video series we're going to talk about an FTD cluster. This video is going to overview the setup we have in place. The platform we're using here is a Firepower 4150s and it runs an FTD application. This appliance can attach with 10 gig and 40 gig interfaces. Firepower appliances have a chassis manager which helps us provision applications like ASA or FTD and cluster them together. It also virtualizes the data path by allowing us to take those front panel ports bind them together into port channels and allocate them to these applications either ASA or FTD. In this demo our setup has two clusters with these 4100s. We have an ASA cluster on top that runs with routed firewall contexts and we have an FTD cluster on the bottom that runs with transparent firewall BVIs. The contexts and BVIs are matched up together and they're bound together and stitched using the Nexus 5000 pair of switches that run VPCs into both of these clusters. This setup allows us to do uh, resiliency testing with our devices that are on either end of the cluster and running through these contexts and BVIs. In this diagram you see all of the attachments, the switch ports used, and also VLANs. In the center of the diagram is a pair of Nexus 5000 switches. They have a VPC peer link in place and it is very important that you load supported version of software on, this, on both of these switches which is 7.0.1 or later for Nexus 5000. If you can search for ASA compatibility, you'll find the software versions that have been validated with any of the Cisco switches you may be using this solution with. If you don't run the right uh, version of software, your cluster may not bind together properly, may not be as resilient, uh, and uh, you may just want to avoid all of those problems by doing this kind of work first. On top here we have our data links into two units in the cluster. We can have up to six and each 4150 with FTD is dual attached to Nexus 5000 switches. So this solution for the data plane gives us resiliency of ports, actual FTD units and switch units because they're running as active active with VPCs. Clustering also allows for connection state tracking. On the bottom you have cluster control link and each unit again dual attaches but these are individual VPCs that use an access VLAN uh, for all the communication within the control plane of the cluster. CCL is also used for rebalancing traffic that may come asymmetric into the data links themselves. Firepower Management Center is used to manage an FTD cluster configuration and monitor any of the events that come from that uh, cluster. Now let's take a look at the switches first. Here on the left we have switch 1 and on the right switch 2. So here we can see the port channels themselves and here are the FTD cluster port channels. 30 is the data links and then 40 and 42 are the two individual VPCs for two FTD units. You can see the same on the right. Here we have the data and control and if we take a look at the VPCs on the bottom they're simply matched up to these port channels. So you have VPC 130, 140 and 142 and with their appropriate VLANs assigned. If we take a look at our FMC here under devices we have our FTD cluster unit 1 is the master if we take a look at the interfaces that have been assigned into this cluster we can see port channel 10 and 48 10 is parsed out into four VLAN sub interfaces 
and those are paired up into their own BVIs that match to the contexts on the ASA cluster here. So 910 and 920 and 915 and 925. If we take a look at our FXOS GUIs into each chassis, the FTD1 under logical devices here our chassis manager had installed an FTD application that is then brought into a cluster as the master. Under its interfaces it has these green links for all of the interfaces that have been split into their data plane with port channel 10 and 48 for control plane. There is also a management interface allocated here, Ethernet 1.7. In the same fashion here on the FTD2 device, FXOS is showing FTD application installed as a slave and here you can see the data and cluster interfaces here, port channel 10 and 48. In a similar fashion the interfaces are parsed out into these port channels and these, this configuration mirrors what you have seen with the master unit itself. So that concludes our overview of the FTD cluster. Hope you enjoy the rest of the series uh, on FTD clustering.